here and today on our no adventures we've got another one of the world of wizardry from whoop, geek gear um this is a harry potter monthly subscription and obviously no muggles allowed so yeah i actually like this particular box just because it's got um it's not sealed with like plastic you actually have to Ooh, rip it off <laughs> so no one can get in there unless you try so sort of thing or I guess customs could but yeah we, we won't talk about that hey <laughs> so yes um, we'll be opening up this guy today now I do, I'm not sure if there's a theme to this one or not but I guess we'll find out so let's have a look see here oh no another yellow another yellow shirt <laughs> okay so I'm guessing this is for um um, half a pub, oh god, yellow shirts are, with this um, box is just like ridiculous. But yes, as you can see here, it's actually a little bit embossed, like it actually like, um, like it's got the coat of arms and everything like that. Um, it says, a magical adventure awaits. School of a Trusted Legend 3 with, um, with Hogwarts. And you can see there's a few little different things like a dragon, a griffin, um, an owl, and there's some and yeah, oh, and there's the Whomping Willow, or whatever it's called. Very, very cool. Yeah, and it's actually a little bit embossed, like it actually is raised up. So, besides being yellow, because I don't think anyone really likes wearing yellow, yellow that much, uh, cool otherwise. Okay, the first thing I'm picking up is some jelly beans. Now, I heard that these actually aren't. Um, oh, this one is. Oh, that's right. It's um, Weasley something like it's like um it's like the joke shop thing but yes Weasley's Wizards or something like that I can't remember what this um, box is called but yes um as you can see it's uh, <laughs> it's one of those tiny little candy jar things um I'm pretty sure these don't actually have the crazy flavors um no they look like just normal jelly beans like I actually bought um those ridiculous um jelly beans um at the Harry world in um, what is it, Universal J uh, in Japan, in Osaka, and uh, yeah, I didn't try any, but my, I gave them to my brother because I knew he would enjoy them, but yeah, I think he got like earwax or something, or maybe it was vomit, I can't remember, but I told him he's not allowed to look at it, <laughs> but yes, yep, that's just a normal flavour, I'm pretty sure they just are, oh no, it's cherry, I don't like cherry, <laughs> ah, so this must be, I, um, Huff, Hufflepuff themed one, so I'm guessing that's why we got the yellow shirt. Now let's open this guy out and have a look. What have we got here? Ah, ah it's a pillowcase. So we've got a Hufflepuff pillowcase, which is actually kind of cool. Um, it's like made out of um, canvas and it's got like a really nice print on it. So we've got a oh, Two of the badges down here, we got the normal, oops, the normal um, themed one, which is kind of cool. Let's get that out of the way. Ah, we'll get some socks. I'm gonna keep here. Okay, those ones aren't printed, I was wondering if they were. But I might open these ones just because you can see they're pretty much you can see what they're made out of and that is it for the other this is a little bit different to the uh, other one where I wanted to show it in its full glory now, what is this ah this is cool Gringotts bolt key I don't know if this is really like anything to do with Weasley or anything like that this is like the only thing that's in this that is I guess Weasley themed but it's nothing in particular either so this is so cool I actually really like this As you can see here, very nice, very nice key. Not sounds all the same, but yes, very nice. I would love to use a key like this on a door. I'll tell you that right now. Now it looks like we got a poster here, and then we got the normal like art, arty poster. So let's just open this one. It's a 
this one's actually not bent this time, which is nice. So we've got, um, what is this called again? The Patronus uh, spell. As you can see, um, it's the stag, and then there's Harry right there. That is Patronus, right? I can't remember. Um, I love Harry Potter, but it's just like I'm not crazy knowledgeable on all, all the things. So this looks like this is the last thing, and it's like it looks like it's a couple of posters. So we've got like so many posters. In there. This is this is why I keep telling my mum like this is because this is her box, and I'm just like it's like I know that these things all come from Wish. So if you're thinking about it, you might want to think about getting something different, like the um, Loot Crate one, because at least they're made exclusively for that box. Yeah, considering that most of these things are like like under five bucks or like two bucks um, for most of these things on Wish. And you can find most of them, I guarantee. And as we can see here, this is something that they've printed up. So what have we got here? Harry Potter and the spells that you ought to know. So we've got all the different spells of opening and enchantments and all that sort of jazz, which is a cool thing. Ah, things for the... Yeah, there we go. I was right. Patronus, all the good feelings and stuff like that. And then we've got Albus Dumbledore, 10 years to the day. This would actually be kind of cool if they were on, on those metal um, things. I'm not too sure what it says. But yes, still. Daily Profit and all that jazz. Two bigger types of posters. Like, I don't mind them, but yeah. It's just... I feel like this is, so, like, a little bit of a cheap-ass box because these aren't even, like, um, um, Betty Bots, uh, Bet, um, yeah, Betty Bots, Pots, um, every flavor of beans and stuff like that. Like, this is kind of cool. Like, they got, if they're, if they're actually doing the cards, like, the holographic cards, um, Sorry, hologram cards, that would be kind of cool. Like, they all kind of look a little bit lame, except for like the, um, what is it, the um, Gryffindor one for those shirts. Yeah, well, it doesn't say that they're trying to be Bertie Bots, I guess, but yeah. I just think it's some of the stuff that they do put in this box is a little bit lame and they should try to not get such cheap cheap things I don't know I'm just complaining a little bit it's not even my box but, <laughs> but it's just I um, but yeah like we found all most of these items on Wish already and I know that they're just like printed on a jar and stuff like this um, and put some jelly beans in there and just, like mm. don't think it's worth it but you know whatever you like really if you don't want to go out of your way and buy all these sorts of items on Wish and things like that, go ahead. But yeah, it's just my personal opinion. I, I'm just like, every time I open this up, I'm a little bit disappointed. So yeah, but that's okay. But I guess, what did I like out of this? I don't even know. I think it was this. This is the only thing I actually liked out of this particular box. It's probably the key. And I bet I could probably find this for like two dollars on Wish or even eBay. So just food for thought guys food for thought but yes that is it for today my lovelies if you like this video give us a big thumbs up comment if you will and click that subscribe button below to keep updated with more of these new adventures and unboxings but thank you very much my lovelies and we'll see you in the next new adventures bye